I'm Seth Schneider, here to tell you about the exciting new features in the Intel GPA 2017 R3 release. We've made several improvements to Graphics Trace Analyzer and released a beta of a new tool called Multi-Frame Analyzer for analyzing macOS metal applications. We've also redesigned portions of the Graphics Frame Analyzer UI. You can download Intel GPA for free in the links provided. Graphics Trace Analyzer is now the main tracing tool within the Intel GPA product suite. As of this release, Platform Analyzer is no longer available. If you'd like to continue using it, please see our release notes for a legacy download location. Trace Analyzer now supports additional VR compositor events from the Oculus and OpenVR SDKs. You can view this information by making sure that the VR compositor domains are selected before taking your capture. Additionally, we have added initial DirectX 12 multi-adapter support and the ability to capture ETW events on Windows 7. We've added a new tool into the GPA toolbox called Multi-Frame Analyzer. This beta includes the ability to capture full game traces called streams that allow you to analyze any frame within the stream. In addition, we've also added the ability to analyze a frame live during the capture by pausing the target application. This new tool supports the Metal 1.0 and the Metal 2.0 APIs, as well as the new macOS 10.13 High Sierra update. The Graphics Frame Analyzer UI has gone through a small redesign in this release. We've added the ability to organize the bar chart by perf marker region or by render target to help you quickly understand the regions within your frame. Metric groups can now be collapsed and expanded, UI panels can now be resized, and the application now feels more like a native app on each platform. Thank you for watching. For more information about the Intel GPA 2017 R3 release or anything else mentioned in this video, follow the links provided and remember to like this video and subscribe to the Intel Software YouTube channel.